Thank you very much, and I appreciate very much the visual introduction, <laughs> which is quite a compendium of, <clears throat> of the conflicts that I've been involved with of, of recent. I'm truly honored to have been invited to the memorial for Dr. Singh. Uh, I did not know him, but I know very closely people who do know him and people I respect like Dr. Saeed and uh, Salim over there. Uh, and, and when I was invited, what I wanted to do was to add my voice to the peaceful uh, nature of the individual that's, that you're honoring and honoring his memory. His memory is one of wanting to make a contribution towards bringing human beings together in a spirit of love and understanding, in, in a spirit of peace. I take great opportunities to associate myself with the civil rights needs of the Muslim community, uh, the Sikh community, of the Pakistani community, and I feel very deeply about it. I, can't think of anything that would be more advantageous to the whole world if there could be a greater rapprochement, a greater interchange between the Indian and Pakistani community. That part of the world is as treacherous and as difficult for our world society as Pakistan as, as is Palestine and Israel. It's, and, and so since we recognize that it is a very dangerous area, it's up to people like yourselves who will try to broach the, ch the chasm that exists uh, in that regard. And so I associate myself with your efforts. I applaud the fact that you are concerned about this here in the United States and using your influence from the United States as going back to your roots and trying to influence them in the various communities that we hope will be brought together. So all I can do is add my voice to it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to stay for the balance of the forum. My wife and I moved to California this last December. We live in Burlingame and we brought with us uh, and took her in, her cousin who's 95 years old and uh, who's wheelchair bound. And unfortunately this morning at 6.30, we were woken up by the fact that she fell down and broke her leg. And so I think you can appreciate the, the, the difficulties we had to balance of the morning. And we're only a one car family. So uh, she went with the ambulance to the hospital, but then I went to the hospital later on to bring them back and they have her in a cast uh, and so it was very, it was a difficult moment uh, for somebody we truly care for and who needs to be cared for and so that's the only excuse that I offer for leaving early but I just cannot underscore enough what what you saw in the video was the deep anger and the deep anxiety that I have over righteousness, over the ability of human beings and citizens to stand up for their rights. Uh, we mentioned Dr. Sal Samuel Arian. Well, Sammy is still under house arrest. And I saw him briefly before I left in December and I was uh, on board uh, to possibly go back for a hearing that was canceled by the judge. Now. There's no reason for Samuel Arian to be continued to be prosecuted. And this is under Barack Obama. We're not talking about Bush anymore. The, the, the tragedy of Guantanamo, the tragedy of Abu Ghraib, the tragedy of the fact that we have rendition prisons around the world uh, is, is still with us under the Obama administration. We spend more under Obama for defense uh, and for the military than we have since the Second World War. The United States of America sells more weapons 
into the global arms bazaar than it ever has in the past. Why do we need all these weapons? Uh, India, if you read the paper just recently, is, is, uh, being, is considering a $10 billion purchase of, of fighter jets. What that will occasion is a reaction in Pakistan. There's just no end to this conundrum that we have where human beings find it so difficult to reach out and grab at peace. And so that's why it's so important for you to come together in forums like this to do just that. Reach out with your thinking, with your commitment, so that you can use your influence to bring about a more peaceful world. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best.